Hello YouTube and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today uh, we're going to talk about personal finances and why they're important and then also talk a little bit about some tips to help manage your money. Um, this video is aimed at high school students but honestly anybody who, who needs some help with figuring out their, their money and how they spend it could probably benefit from this video. So to start what is personal finance? Why is it important? Well, it's it's how you're choosing to spend and save your money. And since we, we live in a world where money kind of uh, dictates what you're able to do in life, um, being able to, to make some smart choices about how you spend your money and how you save your money um, can really be beneficial in the long run for you. So the first thing we need to talk about with, with your own personal finances is, is the difference between a want and a need. Um, wants, right, are things that um, you get for your own enjoyment. Things that you you really you really need you really you really want to have. So, for instance, like just sitting here in my in my office, right? There's lots of different things that I have that are wants, right? I wanted all those baseballs. Um, I've got lots of books in here. Those are things I wanted. They're not necessarily things I needed to survive. Right, I could I could live without my collection of baseballs. I could live without all my books. Okay, but the other thing that we were talking about is needs, and needs are things that you have to have to live. Those are things like a place to live, like this this home I live in, or um, fresh water, or food, or the clothing that you wear. Things that are going to make sure that you can keep on on living successfully. So those are needs. So. When you're spending your money or saving your money, you really have to take those things into account. Is this something that I want or is this something that I need? And generally, right, if you want to be a successful manager of your money, the things that you need need to take priority over the things that you want. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't have the things that you want. It's just that it's probably smart to uh, prioritize your needs, okay? Um, and there are some tips to, that can help you with your with your spending habits. For one, uh, you can keep a spending log. Um, I don't personally keep one, but I do have, um, through my bank, I have an online banking app, so I can see all of my purchases, and I can keep track of it that way. And then because of that, now I can go through and I can see, okay, this is what I'm spending my money on. Maybe I should cut back on this. Oh, I went out to eat, you know, four times this week. Well, maybe I should start buying food for myself and cooking it myself. Um, so those are some ways that you can help yourself with, with spending and saving. And then also using that spending log, you can watch habits that you're forming, right? Like like I was saying, are you deciding to buy your own food and then cooking it yourself? Or are you going out because it's easier? Maybe you can cut back on that. Or, you know, something I really enjoy is Pokemon. So I have, as you can see back here, there they are, lots of Pokemon cards. Right? Do I need to buy all those Pokemon cards? Maybe not. So deciding when and where to get to go buy more of those, those things that I want instead of need, um, can be really helpful if you're using a spending log. The other thing that can really help you is making a goal. So a goal to reduce either your spending or to increase your savings or anything like that. Um, and generally when we're making a goal like this, you want to make a smart goal. A SMART goal is specific, measurable, wow, I don't know what I wrote there, eh. relevant and time-based. So you want to make sure that the things that you are doing, oh, assessment, sign mail, wow, I don't know what it says, regardless. The point is you want to make a goal that you can actually achieve and that you can measure that you're making progress towards. So for instance, for me, let's say um, my car is pretty old and I need, I want to get a new car and I want to be able to purchase it outright. So I need to start saving money for it. If I do that, I have a specific goal in mind. I want to save money for my new car. It's measurable. I know roughly how much that, that car is going to cost and how much I'm going to have to save per month so that I can get that much money. Um, and um, it's time-based. I know that eventually my car is going to break, um, and I have a pretty good idea when that's going to happen, so I have to make that amount of money 
before that happens, right? I don't want to be stuck without mode of transportation. So having that kind of goal can really help you rein in either your spending or help you with your saving. Anyways, um, that was my first video on personal finance. Um, we talked about wants versus needs and some tips to help you with your spending and saving. Next time, we will be talking about borrowing money and the benefits and the cons of borrowing money. Bye.